Okay, this problem asks you to find the solution to this system of equations. Well, to find the system of a solution, uh, the solution to a system of equations, we find out where the two lines intersect. Because the, 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 the graph of this equation and the, is the, all the solutions to that equation. And the graph of this equation is all the solutions to that equation. So where they intersect, well, that would be at a solution to both. So the first one's easy to graph, right? Line 1 is just going to be a slope of 3 over 1 and a y-intercept of 0, negative 1. So that's a very easy one. And on these, you want to be very careful with how you graph. So 0, negative 1 goes there. And then we're going to go up 3 to the right 1, up 3 to the right 1. And you just want to make sure it's good to do a lot of extra points on this one. Remember, you can go down and to the left if you're going up and to the right. And you can make lots of points. To make sure that I'm very accurate, you should be using a ruler. I'm going to use my nice line tool that I have. Um, and I'm going to draw, try to draw it as well as I can through these points. Okay, so there's my line. Now I want to find the other line, so I've got to do line 2 here. Well, I'm going to have to do some solving on that one. Right, I want, I want to solve it for y so I can use slope-intercept. So subtract 2x, and you get 4y equals a negative 2x plus 24. Divide everything through by 4, and you got y equals a negative 1 half x plus 6. So your slope is negative 1 half, and your y-intercept is 0, 6. So you plot, plot 0, 6. There's your point. Your slope's negative 1 half, so down 1 to the right 2, and so on. And again, you want to draw a nice straight line, but this answer is pretty obvious at this point because they, it's, a, it's a point that you can see very clearly they have in common. And when you, when you write your answers to this, um, you've got to make sure that when you write your answers that it's um, a coordinate because you're actually looking for the points that make both of them true. So the answer is 2 over 5 up. You need to make sure you tell me what the, what the answer is on these. Okay, the, the, another example of this just graph both these lines. So I take the first one. I'm going to do 4x minus 3y equals 12. Subtract 4x. I get negative 3y equals a negative 4x plus 12. Divide through by negative 3. And I get y equals four, a positive 4 thirds x minus 4. So my slope is a positive 4 thirds. My y-intercept is 0, negative 4. So 0, negative 4, that's this point. 4 thirds would mean up 4 to the right 3. Up 4 to the right 3. Remember, you want these lines to be nice and straight. So try to make them as straight as possible. So that's the line there. So that's that line, remember, represents all the solutions to this equation. Okay, we do the other one. Negative 2x plus 4y equals 4. So we add the 2x. That gives us 4y equals 2x plus 4. I divide through by 4. And I'm going to get y equals, well, 2 over 4 is 1 half x. And 4 over 4 is just 1. So I'm going to have a slope of 1 half. And a y-intercept of... A y-intercept of 0, 1. And so I'm going to go up, up, one, up to 0, 1. My slope is 1 half, so it's going to be up 1 to the right 2. And then up 1 to the right 2. And as you can hopefully see, it's pretty apparent what your answer is going to be. I get it to go through the lines right. You can see that the answer to this system of equations is that point right there, which turns out to be 6, 4. Remember, where the lines intersect as an ordered pair, so make sure you put the parentheses, that is the solution to the, equation, the systems of equations.